What's up, YouTube? It's your boy KB. Low boys, is stand up. Man, man, I cut back with y'all with another story. Even though this is gonna be like a short story because it really ain't that much to talk about about this motherfucking story. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna talk to y'all about the time I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know the beat. You know the beat. Alright, when I lost my virginity, I was like, man, I was like, what? Nah, it wasn't that long, was it? I don't know, I was 14, though. Actually, I was 11. Yeah, I was 11 when I lost my virginity. I was in, like, middle school or some shit. By an older girl and shit, man. I was, like, 11. They was running around. That's when I was in, running in the streets and shit, being bad. And if you know you're a young nigga, you just being bad and stuff, so... But anyway, it was this girl that liked me, little heavy saying girl, that lived across the street from me while I was living in Fresno on the west side. So, when I was going to school and stuff, she was always coming around, talking, always trying to get me in and stuff. So, I was like, uh, uh, no, I can't do it. So, then I met another girl that was Oh, boy, you, yeah. So, she was cute for a little 12-year-old. No, she was like, Yeah, she was 12. She was under the B. She was cute as hell for that. So, you know what I mean? And I had to say, what's the one way? You didn't get the day with me. I was in the warehouse, like, every day and stuff. Every day we was hanging out, talking. So I was like, okay, it worked out. Damn, I did a couple of months. Ow, shit, man, dude, I'm trying to tell a story, dude. <laughs> yeah, went to that, man. Yeah, went to the house, man. What you doing? Dude, I'm trying to tell a story here, bro. Get off me, bro. Ooh, get off me. Ugh. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I gotta tell the story. This nigga wanna spawn relationship, but uh, yeah. But after that, man, we went into her room, man. Start playing games. But it wasn't, it wasn't a game. It was just, you know, a little too for that, man. So we put the pillows over our heads. I was laying down, she put the pillow on my head, so. We was dry, huh? I ain't losing my jeans, but we was dry, huh? Now, I did her, we was dry, and it almost had sex. So, I did all that, and it happened, we didn't do nothing. So, I said, forget it, we just became friends and stuff. And then, once I moved my mom, that's when my mom met one of my mom's friends on the west side, though, he used to come over. And after I met her, we started talking. Got the game, always had a house, always. Coming over to see baby sick, but little you know, and little do you know, tell me you was talking and y'all said sex. Yeah, sex at her house. I didn't know what I was doing. She was like, huh, I'll teach you. Woo, woo, woo. So I was like, okay. After that, we had sex like every day. I was like, I'm a fucking creamy boy, I ain't you hear me? Really, dude, I'm trying to do a vlog, man. See, I can't do a vlog with y'all because he always messing up stuff. He always just in a way, like, damn, man. But yeah, like, we had sex like every day. Shit, after that, man, I was just, and one day we was in my, um, we were me and my mom, we had a pool at our house we was living in. We had a pool, right? So, we were in my room before we came out to we were swimming and stuff. We had sex again. And then, my mom, after that, she thought we were wrong. I said, man, I know what was going on. I was young nigga. I know what the fuck that we felt like and shit. So, I was excited having different emotions and stuff. So, I was like, okay. 
So when you in the pool, you started swimming and stuff, my mom, my mom was watching. She didn't know what was going on. Yeah, she didn't know what was going on. So I was at the pool, we was at the pool, right? After a couple minutes of swimming, we just went all the way to the edge, to the end, and just started having sex in the pool. But I was like, oh, I don't know if we gonna get cut. She was like, oh. she was like, come on, just do it, come on. I was like, all right. So we did it. After that, went on, lay down, watched the movies, and did it again. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, let's get it. So after that, after her, we stopped talking. We stopped talking after that. I ain't heard from her since. I don't know what she doing now. I heard she had a baby and stuff, so I don't know what she doing now, but hey. And then, and another time, man, when I had sex was... It was my, that's when I had my ex. And that's when I like, I took her virginity at her mom's house. So, mm. yeah, that's when, that's when I lost my virginity, man, at the age of 11, with one of the girls that I used to mess with and my mom friend, you know what I mean? But that's when I did it, man. That's when I lost. That's when your boy. <laughs> that's when your boy lost his virginity. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me, man. But after that, man, after I lost my virginity, man, I was a wild nigga, man. I was trying to have sex every day. Every day I was trying to have sex, but now I slowed it down, man. Me getting, me getting um, up to, me getting older. I'm twenty. Well, I'm twenty one, about to be twenty two now, so I ain't. We all that. I ain't really trying to be out and on this look for girls and stuff and all that, man. I'm trying to find me a girlfriend, man, so I can settle down. Not settle down, but someone I can have, like, talk to every day, go to movies, you know, regular relationship type shit, you mean? You doing my last vlog that I put up last night talking about relationships. So you already know what I'm talking about, what kind of girl I want. Man, you already know, but I'll be back with another video. It's time to get it cracking. I'm uh, not cracking me, bragging. <laughs> you feels me, but it's time to get up out of here. Get yeah, feels me, low boy, stand up.